Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the Sabbath Show. And we have a late night edition of the Everton fan reactions. Everton win against Manchester United 1-0. And this one makes me feel absolutely elated with this performance. I mean, we needed a win so badly. We lost it all against Burnley. Um, came away with no points. We needed to come out, make a fucking statement and fucking whoop. We did it. Um, things to say. Um, I want to keep it short and sharp because I can't make too much noise. But um, the goal, I mean, you can always trust Harry Maguire to get the job done um, when your opponent needs it. And, and he was there for us today with that deflection. Um, obviously, had a lot of difficulty making shots. There were a few very good chances that we were just this far away from converting. Um, Manchester United were really puzzling at times. I mean, they did not test us really at all. Um, our back line, you know how vulnerable we are defensively, um, especially in aerial contests. And um, Manchester United never really tested that. For some reason, Ronaldo would always go out to the wing and then have no one across, um, across the ball to. So that was really puzzling. They didn't take any long shots, which we also seem to be terrible at defending with our zonal marking. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. We take the win. It was a very scrappy win, but uh, as evidenced by um, our previous wins at Goodison Park, we've had to do it the hard way and we've had to do it scrappy. Um, that Newcastle game comes to mind the most. The Arsenal game also comes to mind. Um, you know, a long, hard-fought contest for pretty much the full 90 minutes and then just one little moment that um, separates the two teams. And today it was Everton being on the right side of it, which is um, absolutely amazing. And we now have a little bit of a cushion on Burnley, which is exactly what we needed. And it now drags Leeds United back into um, the relegation scrap. Um, they need to beat Watford um, and they are going to play in less than half an hour. So we will be able to find out um, how their fate um, will lie. Um, ultimately in the future. Players that perform really well, Anthony Gordon was good, Richarlison was excellent. I mean, that guy had an engine today like no other. He was getting from one end of the pitch to the other and was covering enormous amounts of ground um, like I'd never seen before, um, but he was absolutely exceptional. I think Alex Awobi made some good passes. Anthony Gordon was very dashy. Um, the full backs looked a bit vulnerable at times and sometimes when it got into the box, you're a bit, you know, squirmish in your seat because, you know, those centre-backs have proven to be very unreliable. But today, they stood up very well. There were some interesting moments that uh, showed vulnerability, which is very, very natural. But um, the fact that we came away with a clean sheet, I mean, says a lot about how the centre-backs have sort of developed. I mean, it's just a part of their their character development, basically, over the course of the season. You know, they've had some tough moments, but sometimes resilience prevails, and um, they did very well in that department. Pickford made some good saves as well. That's exactly what we needed. Obviously, he needed to step up. Goals aren't, well, they're coming at a premium for us, so obviously clean sheets are going to be also coming at a premium and will be ever so valuable um, given we can never really score more than one goal on any given day without conceding um, two or three. So today was one of those premium days, I guess. Um, and that winning feeling feels absolutely amazing. So um, awesome stuff. Um, obviously, we've got Leicester in two weeks. It really allows the players to recoup, not get too carried away with this win. Um, obviously they've got to embrace that winning feeling for the next two weeks. Obviously, you know, th there's not going to be a disruption in that for a couple of weeks. So I think they can go into this international break on a high or this, this little break on a high. Hopefully they stay healthy over the off seat or the, the little break. Um, because if we get it more injuries sustained, then it's going to be another problem. Um, Yerry Mean is supposed to come back against Leicester, which is a very good sign. And there is plenty of reason to be optimistic once he returns, because that stability in the back line um, will resurface, hopefully, um, provided he can play more than one game of Premier League football at a time. So um, it's going to be interesting to see how that one plays out. Obviously, a very tough run of fixtures coming up. Um, so that really amplified the importance of winning this game. We came out, it was not convincing. Um, as proven by our pre 
previous performances, we have been playing like us, and uh, at times today, that was exactly the case. But um, fortunately, Manchester United matched our, um, our playing ability, which was pretty awful. So um, it was just one of those games where, you know, you sort of just rely on the gods to be looking down on you and, um, you know, being on your side. And uh, today, God was on our side. Um, the football gods were on our side. So we take those, we run away with the win, um, and we forget about it, basically. Um, we just take the three points, nothing more. Um, and, mate, I'm fucking buzzing. So I'm going to be going to, going to bed tonight. Very, very happy with the win. You know, that winning feeling's really going to ride through the rest of the weekend, and I'm, I'm happy about it. So... Thank you, Everton, for making me feel pretty positive about the rest of my Saturday evening. But um, that's going to be it. So I hope you enjoyed. Drop a like and subscribe. They're not usually out this quickly after a game, but um, I do hope you enjoyed this late night edition. So thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out.